Hey, Shalom. First of all, I'd like to give our praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, Yahweh who the world inwardly calls God, Yahweh Shah who, who the world inwardly calls Jesus. I want to say Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, Bashim Rakakwadash, Lord willing, the video is uh, done through the Spirit. Lord willing, you brothers are, I get something from this video. I want to give a uh, double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone, who has taught me the truth. I want to give a peace and blessings to the Akim across the four corners of the earth who teaches truth and rest of life to do so. It's going to be a quick video. Lord willing videos at a fine to you, I can. Uh, basically, we're going to go through Isaiah a little bit and kind of break down, you know, what it's talking about and, you know, proving that, you know, this place, America, is going to be, you know, destroyed, you know, and, and it, it tells you it through these scriptures. Okay? It tells you it through the scriptures. If you have an eye and if you have an ear, you know, you should see and, and, and listen. You know, if you have the spirit to hear, then you should, this, this is the message that you want to hear, that you want to hear, because we're giving out the warning. And with us giving out the warning, guess what? With us giving out the warning, guess what? You can't say you haven't been warned. Okay, and if you are in the note, um, uh, uh, you should probably put your hand to the, to the plow and get the pushing. Okay, so Isaiah 24. Uh, can I start up? Let me see. Mm, I'll go to, let's go to 24. It's Isaiah 24 and 10. It says, the city of confusion is broken down. Every house is shut up that no man may come in. Now, look, the city of confusion. Well, what does Babylon mean? Babylon means confusion. Okay. That's what that means. Like to babble. Right. It says the city of confusion is broken down. So that city of confusion, which is this place, is broken down. Every house is shut up that no man may come in. There is a crying for wine in the streets. All joy is darkened. The mirth of the land is gone. Now, what's going to come, you know, and that's destruction, right? And, you know, joy is going to be gone. So, but what's going to cause that, right? Well, if you, like, I'll give you some examples, right? If you look at movies like The Book of Eli, if you look at um, movies like The Purge, all three of them, right? You know, if you look at, you know, um, like The Terminator and stuff like that, right? Those are the things that, you know, not... I'm talking like not robots moving and stuff like that, but just like the what the Terminator was kind of getting at as far as, you know, America being destroyed by fire. You know, that's basically what it's going to be about. OK, you know, this is, a, you know, it says in the city is left desolate and the gate is smitten with destruction. Right. So we understand that destruction is coming to this place. OK, the city of confusion is broken down and this is how it's going to be broken down. Okay, let me go to, let me, let me start back really quick. This is uh, Isaiah 19. It says, um, just so I can prove my point. It says, uh, the burden of Egypt, behold, this is so like Isaiah 19 and 1. It says, the burden of Egypt, behold, the Lord Yahweh rideth, rideth upon a swift cloud and shall come, uh, and shall come into Egypt and the idols of Egypt shall be moved at, at his presence. And the heart of Egypt shall melt in the midst of it. And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians, and they shall fight everyone against his brother and everyone against his neighbor, city against city and kingdom against kingdom. Right. So we understand that the last time we were in Egypt was what? Through Moses. OK. But this is telling you that the Lord rideth, rideth upon a swift cloud and that swift cloud will get into a, you know, that's, that's another video for another time. It says and shall come into to Egypt. You know, that's the most high is, you know, the vehicles that are most high chariots. And we know that. OK, it says and shall come into Egypt and the idols of Egypt shall be uh, moved at its presence. So that hasn't happened yet. So what Egypt is this talking about? What Egypt is this talking about? That has not happened. It says, and I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians and every. And they shall fight everyone against his brother and everyone against his neighbor, city against city and kingdom against kingdom. And the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst thereof, and I will destroy the counsel thereof. And they shall seek to the idols and to the charmers and to, the, to them that have familiar spirits and to the wizards. And the Egyptians will I give over into the hand of a cruel Lord and fierce king shall rule over them, said the Lord, uh, the Lord, the Lord, Yahweh will post. You know what I mean? So what that that hasn't took place yet. Right. We understand that ancient Egypt was 
you know, was was purged through plagues, right? But when you go to Deuteronomy 28 and 68, it tells you, I will bring thee into Egypt again, but this time with ships, and you'll be sold to your enemies for bond men and bond women, slave men and slave women. So throughout the scriptures, you're going to hear this word Egypt. You're going to hear this word Sodom, you, even though Sodom and the Gomorrah was destroyed. destroyed. You're going to hear this word Sodom. As a matter of fact, let me get this. Because if you don't pay attention to it, right, a lot of this will go over your head. If you went to a Christian church, your pastor ain't talking about this. Guaranteed, he can't talk about it. Check this out. This is 2 Ezra 15 and 10. It says, Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. So if you stop right there, you might be like, oh, well, we were in the land of Egypt. Back in the time of Moses. But look at verse 11. It says, but I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before and will destroy all the land thereof. What? Smite Egypt as plagues as before. What? So what Egypt is this talking about? So when you link that with Deuteronomy 28 verse 16, what is it talking about? It's talking about this place. This is 12. It says, Egypt shall mourn and the foundations of it shall be smitten and the plagues and punishment that the Most High Yahweh shall bring upon it. Okay. Uh, I mean, I could keep going. This is all destruction that's coming to this place. This is it's all destruction that comes. I might be another video for another time, but I just want to prove my point. So we understand that I just so we understand that it's not talking about ancient Egypt. It's talking about a, a different Egypt. Okay, now let's go to this. And their dead bodies shall lie in the... This is Revelation 11 a it says, And their dead bodies shall lie in the streets of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where the Lord, where also our Lord was crucified. Okay, so what? It's a, and I got that to, to get the point. So it's a place spiritually called, it's a place is spiritually called different things, Sodom and Egypt, because that's what it represents. Okay, these are the things that it represents, man. Okay, let me go back to uh, Isaiah really fast. You know, this place, you know, this place, uh, this place signifies, um, You know, this place signifies different kingdoms. Okay, and this is it's a lot of meat on here, but I want to kind of I want to make the video too long. Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna get this. This is the point. It's, I'm just jump to the points. Isaiah thirteen and eighteen. It says. Uh, their bows also shall dash the young men to pieces, and they shall have no pity on the fruit of the, the womb. Their eyes shall not spare children. It's 19. It says, in Babylon, that's the point. In Babylon, right? The glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldees' excellency shall be as when the Most High overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. Okay. So we understand that Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed by what? Thermonuclear, uh, not thermonuclear fire, so like it, but fire. By fire and brimstone. But we understand that this one is going to be destroyed in the same way, in the same fashion. But when we go to Second Ezra 15 and 16, it tells us that, you know, a bow that could kindle a fire is going to be shot from one part of the earth to the other part of the earth. And I just read that Egypt, that the Most High will smite Egypt with plagues as before. So we understand that this is talking about this place. Okay, this is talking about this place. Ain't no word for America in the Bible. You're not going to find it, but it's spiritually called this name. You understand this is the youngest country in the world, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, but it has the most power in the world and it's set up like that on purpose. So this could be an example of how not to live, just like how they were supposed to use Sodom and, and, and the Gomorrah as an example on how not to live. But they didn't. So guess what? This is going to receive the same punishment as Sodom and Gomorrah, which is what? Fire. Okay. Check this out. This is 20. It says, it shall never be inhabited. Neither shall it be dwelt 
in from generation to generation. So if you look at, you know, ancient Babylon, right? That place is inhabited to to this in it, to uh, to this day. People live there, but this place, right? This Babylon that it's talking about now it says it shall never be inhabited, neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation. Neither shall the Arabian pinch tent there, neither shall the shepherds make their fold there. But wild beasts of the desert shall lie there, and their houses shall be full of doleful creatures. And owls shall dwell there, and satyrs shall dance there, and the wild beasts of the island shall cry in their desolate houses, and dragons in their pleasant palaces. And her time is near to come, and her days shall not be prolonged. This is the most wickedest generation, the most wickedest country, the most wickedest people. This is the land of the free, right? This is the land of do as thou wilt. This is the land of have it your way. This is the land of total disrespect. This is the land of being backwards. And with a backward society, this is what you get. Destruction. Okay? With having a backward society, you get nothing but destruction. So this is why this place is going to be destroyed. And we say that it's in the scriptures. You know, when you read ancient Babylon or Egypt or Sodom, this is, you know, you got to, you know, sometimes it's talking about old Babylon. Right. But. You know, when you read in prophecy, it's talking about America. OK, that's what it's talking about, you know, but like I said, I don't want to make the video too long. Lord willing, Lord willing, the point was hit. Lord willing, I was able to answer any brothers' questions. Lord willing, you brothers were fed. I want to give all praises to you. How about you, man? I want to tell you, brothers, keep pushing on. Stay shallow on liking. Stay up, shallow on.